Color Run. I'm coming to you from beautiful southern New Mexico in the Sacramento Mountains. You can see I'm in a very remote area. There's where it looks on the map, Google Maps. When I'm back home, I'm totally off grid, 100% completely off grid. It's the intersection over here, State Highway. This is State Highway 24. It goes over to Weed and Pinon. Yes, I know funny names. I think it dead ends with uh, what's well, unpaved beyond there. And then State Highway 130 right here otherwise known as the Cox Canyon Highway. Going off to the left is to the, we're looking north, so over there is to the west. It goes back towards Cloudcroft. And then over there goes to May Hill, so it's the second road, May Hill and Artesia. So yeah, we're in a fully remote off-grid area, and this is gonna be a satellite test of, I finally got it, T-Mobile Starlink Beta. They call it T-Satellite. Now, right now, I'm not a T-Mobile customer. I only have Verizon, so that's postpaid. So I'm not a T-Mobile customer, but I got into the free beta. And as you can see in some of these screenshots on your screen off to the left or the right, I got satellite messaging. Now it's, I wouldn't rely on it, you know? I got myself a little bit turned around, honestly. I have a lot of backup methods in car navigation maps. I even have a paper map, so that's where I'm at. There's a photo of a paper map that I brought. I was aiming to go to Timberon, got a little lost, so I guess this is a really good test uh, in case somebody, a tourist, might get lost. Now I walked out of the car, I had to walk around outside for about five minutes because my phone wouldn't get it, it just said, and I kept trying to send messages through Google Messages, um, and that's just because the networks don't want to fall back. They want to fall back to satellite as a last resort, you know, they don't want you to use their expensive satellite network if the signal's a little low. So you have to have no signal of any kind, really, for more than five minutes. And unfortunately, Verizon didn't connect at all. I guess the Skylo service isn't available here, but T-Mobile Starlink is. So right now, you can see some screenshots. Yeah, I can text out, text my dad. I can't text short codes, it, or the short code that I'm testing right here as a text message service. It's not working, there's uh, some short code here, which is a very short, it's not like a full phone number. That's what a short code means. So yeah, this one's not working and trying to text back this uh, T-Mobile number, uh, 326, like a service number, they don't accept incoming text. It's like a one-way text system. So yeah, that's not working, but otherwise, yeah, you can text people. So this is good, say you're broken down here, you could text a friend or whatever and they can get the, on the internet, you know, cause you don't wanna uh, bother emergency services. You don't wanna call 911 just cause you know, you're out of gas or flat tire or something that's not life-threatening. So you can do that and obviously, you know, I would highly recommend if you're going out in these remote areas to carry a dedicated satellite device with you. Uh, pay for Starlink or any of those like personal locator beacons, any of those devices if you're going to be out and about, but that's not good for my use case. I generally stick in my vehicle. So it's really good and always have more backup methods. Just like I said, um, if you're going off grid, you know, you need to take a paper map, download your offline map, something like that, just so for redundancy. But I'd say that's a successful test of the system. It'll improve later on. They'll probably get data next, so it's only text messages only. And since I, the T satellite with paying $0, um, I can only send text messages. And I don't have the funds right now, but hey, if you want to donate to my Ko-Fi link, shown right there on the screen, ko-fi.com slash penguin1 If I can get up to $150 in donations, I will sign up for one month of T-Mobile service and test the Starlink. If you want to see that, Go ahead and contribute down below. Links in the description or the pinned comment. But that's going to be it for now from very beautiful, remote southern New Mexico. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you really appreciate these videos, uh, please leave a like and a comment and also subscribe. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. Uh, right now, the algorithm really penalizes me for having about 90% of people who watch my videos being unsubscribed. Remember, subscribing costs you nothing, and it helps me greatly, helps me improve the coverage and let other people know about this awesome satellite technology that's coming in this decade of 2020. And yeah, I'll have more travel videos, other satellite tests, more tests with the Verizon, and also some videos with this electric vehicle, Kia EV6. Coming soon to my channel, but that's gonna be it for now.